Sean Reese, manager. Yeah, my name's Roy Blur and Enfield Burroughs, new assistant coach. So it was a good, good, good opportunity for me to step up from what I was doing before, have a little bit more responsibility in terms of managing, picking a team, all that sort of stuff as well, which is what I was looking to get into. Luckily, the opportunity came at the right time. And that's a bigger challenge for me because I've got the final decision and it's what I've been working up to for the last six years or so. So, so yes, yeah, a good opportunity. We've got a good group of players as well that we've got existing and so we're going to add in as well. So the team will be good and hopefully we can be in the top, top end of the league, challenging and progressing. Style of football basically attracts me to the club. Um, the ambition of the club, um, the hard work that you guys have done previously is impressive. Um, mainly the style of football and the ambition really. You can see that there's a clear picture of where the club's going. Even with distance obviously what we're doing over at Enfield Barra, speaking to Mara throughout the year and what was happening. And just seeing the project, and as the year went on, Mark was sort of saying, like, what's your plans for next year? I wasn't too sure what I was going to do. Then we had a meeting after the season finished. And from there, we saw, he talked about what the project was for the club, and it's something that I went to do, get to management as well, been coaching for the last six years. And once he explained where the direction of the club was going, it's something that I wanted to, to get on board with, because obviously it's, it's new, it's only been going for two years. There's a lot of potential in terms of the players. so. I thought in terms of if we could add a little bit more structure to what we was doing from there, we could progress the club more. Obviously adding in youth, youth section as well, which we're doing now. To try and progress the club to get as, as far forward as it can, which I think is going to be going in the right direction. Obviously last season they've done well. For the age of the players, they've got good experience under their belt from last season. So I'd like to think what we can do this season coming up is improve as a team overall. Hopefully improve the team, understanding in and out of position, general IQ of the game and hopefully as a club push forward. I've been working in an environment that's slightly higher than this level so it's about bringing in the organisation and the structure and what's required for players to progress. So our objective is obviously not for the players to stay here forever, it's to progress them on, so giving them the right guidance, giving them the right things to do in and out, of, on the pitch, off the pitch, how to prepare themselves, making sure they're, 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 they're working for right giving them the right guidelines for them to go and progress. What I'd like to think I'm going to bring is helping players to improve, to develop players on and off the pitch, but obviously mainly on the pitch. That's what any coach would be looking to do. And hopefully trying to get them to where, I suppose, at collective, we believe they can go, basically, yeah. Our objective is trying to get them into full-time football. So giving them the right tools that they need so they, they might be playing down there because they have potential, but they might be missing key bits. So giving them those bits and our objective is the more players we can get into full-time football and even playing out the pyramid. So yes, we're at step six, if we get them to step three, potentially full-time football higher than that, even if they can go full-time as, as a pro, that's our objective. And hopefully we can give them the tools from training, from training sessions, from matches, match analysis that we do throughout the club, give them the right guidelines, obviously, and guidance to help progress into full-time football. Well, I started off really in at Victoria Park with a community team, just like doing random age groups, help doing that um, probably about 10 years ago. Then I got involved with Westwood Boys at Mini Soccer, stayed with that team up until they were under 16s at Westwood Boys. At that time, they got promotion every year, so I was pleased about that. Won everything within new football, county cup, numerous league cups, leagues, plenty of promotion. So, I'd like to think the development side of the players, I've done that pretty well to be fair. And what last season, getting to the last 16 of the FA Youth Cup, which no other team at grassroots level has ever done. So I think that speaks volumes of what I've achieved and what I feel I can bring. At Chesham was in the FA Cup, got to the second round to beat Bristol Rovers in the first round away, played Bradford and lost that. The following year, we then got to the first round again and lost to Peterborough. So we've had good experience as coaches. Obviously, I wasn't the manager then, but had a part to play in, in that. There's not enough opportunities for black managers, and hopefully, as time goes on, hopefully that will change, but we'll wait and see. And what you're finding now is that managers are now taking jobs low and bringing teams up themselves rather than getting the opportunity. But I think in terms of quality-wise, they're good enough because I've worked with a lot of black and ethnic coaches. It's just given an opportunity and, and a, a chairman trusting them that they're going to do the right job. And as you see, going to the highest level, Darren Moore is at a towards the end of the year got an opportunity done really well 
and that's got the job full time. So there are there are coaches and managers that that can do a job. It's just giving them a chance.